1995 football team was one of the greatest in Husky history. Sit back and enjoy the hits. Like that kind of a coach. He's the kind of coach that will do what is ever necessary. Number one, to get his kill back, and he's hit and wrapped up by the Bulls right away. Game number one for the Huskies against the Bulls. The Bulls are pretty balls. Always a tough one for the Huskies. The Huskies made the mistake of kicking off the deep keeper in the initial kickoff. Ball back. He tries for the wide side of the field, breaks the tackle, then another tackle, another tackle. He's loose up the far sidelines. What a run by Cooper. Cross midfield. He's down to the 30. He's going to go all the way, folks. What a run by Cooper. He got the ball at the 8, a 92-yard touchdown. What a run by Deke Cooper. Deke Cooper proved in the very first game that he was going to be one of the greatest players in the history of North football and one of the greatest players in the state. This was going to be a good night for the Huskies, and they would open up 1-0 against the powerful Boston Bulldogs. He rushed the ball away. He wanted it. And believe me, he knocked over three would-be. Looks like they got single coverage on each of these guys. And the handoff straight up the middle is going to be a first down and more. Down inside. Bossy tough as usual. Battle back. And went out ahead. It's seven to nothing here on this play. But the Huskies bounced right back. And they got the football. And Casey Sellers got his hands on the ball in the very first play. We'll set the offense up front. The handoff goes off the right side. Breaking a whole bunch of tackles. Getting to the outside is Sellers. Sellers down the near sidelines. is finally knocked out of bounds at about the 35-yard line. This North football team, Warren Corp, is inside. He's going to throw, and he does to the near side. It's caught by Cooper, and Cooper's going to go in for the touchdown. Talk about making it look easy, huh? Woo! Well, you know, uh, as I said right before... Right now on the reverse, it comes to Cooper. Look out, he's gone. Off the near sidelines, one guy to get him, and he does. And he was within a step of going all the way. Only Lindsay was able to prevent him from going all the way. They're at the 32-yard line. And the handoff goes off the right side, and it's going to go. Line drive kick. Beverly gets the ball back around his own 15 on the reverse to Cooper. Gets a wood. A block, another block, breaks a tackle, another spin move by him. Still on his feet. What a return to the near. And rolling near side, he's going to throw, and he does to the near side. It's caught by Cooper, and Cooper's going to go in for the That touchdown put the Huskies up by a 14-7 score, and the Huskies were on a roll. Derek Garrett made this sack of the bossy quarterback and put the Huskies in business and recovered the fumble. Right after that, Kareem Neighbors rolled left and threw this touchdown strike to Keith Cooper. He followed it up with his own extra point, point. he run on this option around the right. Huskies were up 28-7 at this point, and Tom Bailey hauled in this bomb from Neighbors.
touchdown tied the score seven to seven. And with the time running out, sophomore Jason McCutcheon kicks the winning field goal for the Huskies and they go up two and oh, win this game 10 to seven against the Harrison Warriors. Top of your screen, Cooper down below. They're double teaming Dean Cooper. So a little scramble. Game three pitted the Huskies against the modern-day Wildcats. Again, it was neighbors throwing the football to number 81, Tom Bailey, and then to Deke Cooper on this strike over the middle. And then this brilliant run, one of the most exciting plays of the year as William Beverly takes this pitch out to the left, makes a couple great cutbacks, and scoots into the end zone for the touchdown.
And as they had all night, the Huskies stop the Castle Knights. And the Huskies go on, win this ball game, and they're suddenly 4-0 and ranked in the top 10 in the state.
looked on on this night. Deep Cooper took the initial kickoff for the Huskies and got it upfield and got the ball rolling. This would turn out to be what many people call the greatest game of all time in Evansville football. Let's decide here for neighbors. Not a bad passer either, by the way. This one tries to find its way up the middle. Work looks good and present possession. It was Casey Sellers in the early going who was taking the football and marching it up and down the field against the Wrights Panthers. Brian Bennett made this outstanding block as the Huskies ran the option to perfection. Then Deke Cooper took the initial touchdown in from seven yards out. And the Huskies on top. The first series that we saw a lot of power. On the ground and Chamberlain bounces off one. They're reading him well. He kept going. Touchdown. Wrights Panthers. They're down in Jed White outside their side and Neighbors goes to the outside. Pitches it to Cooper. Cooper has some more room to run. Inside the 10 and very close to a first down. But 92 yards so far for the Huskies. That's total yards in the opening five weeks. Back on the ground. Huskies. Touchdown. Sellers on the five yard. Sellers again took that ball in, put the Huskies back on top, and then this took a little extra point flip with Deep Cooper, William Beverly, put them back up by seven points after Wright had scored a two-point conversion earlier. It was the Husky run game against the Panthers passing game, the classic matchup, and it was part play like on this big fourth down sack to stop a Panthers drive deep down in Husky territory. Then it was the Husky offense on the move again. Neighbors took this ball on the option and turned up field for what was one of the most exciting plays of the year. He sprinted 70 yards for this touchdown on the option run. And the Huskies were in business again. Keon Cooper, Neighbors turns it up. Last through the second. This replay shows the speed of Green Neighbors and what made him the great quarterback he was. Sellers romping up the middle. 
this long pass and breaks it down deep into Mount Vernon territory. But the Hurston Huskies up 35 to nothing. Pete Cooper also was hitting as well as playing offense that night. And then Michael Cooper picks up this kickoff, makes a few great moves, turns on the speed, and puts up the Huskies 42 to nothing.
Stockton can return it for a touchdown. Dee Cooper got the second half off going with this brilliant touchdown run of 40 yards. Pass out to 
Sellers who took it in for the touchdown and put the Huskies up seven to nothing in this sectional championship game. Husky defense was hard to work. Getting him caught in this fumble was Andre Wright. Then Michael Cooper, always on the spot, picks off this pass. Joe Patterson makes two great blocks to open up the way for Michael. Bubba Schmidt made a great hit, caused this fumble, fumble deep scoop it up, and he trotted it into the end zone. Nathan Brooks made this outstanding hit. Husky defense held down there. Mighty Harrison offense all night long. Myron Rucker come in and made this sack from the backside. Husky defense timing the Harrison Warriors all night long. Finally, that got down close to Husky territory. But the, once again, the Huskies held as Joe Patterson deflected this pass.
one of the toughest teams in the state, but they weren't as tough as the Huskies. William Beverly come up and tattoo this Martinsville receiver.
shook hands with the legendary Coach Dullahan. And the celebration began. The Huskies now stood at 13-0, and we're headed to the Dome.
play showed something that we'll always know, that he didn't get in on that touchdown, but mistakes continued to kill the Huskies as we kept making fumbles and errors that we hadn't made the entire season. This play was another example of just a lack of communication and bad breaks as Penn got another ball deep in our territory. Penn was able to go up 28-7 before the half. The 20, catching the ball, Cooper pushes off, gets a little displacement from the corner. The Huskies tried to come back right before the end of the half. His neighbors threw this strike to Dee Cooper, who was streaking down the left sideline. But the final pass of the half fell just inches incomplete, and the Huskies went in trailing 22 to 7. The second half started off good as Nick Barnes made this great tackle on the opening kickoff. 17.